and welcome to the Kaufman Theater for tonight's special performance of Megillah the Musical. Please turn off all cell phones and remember that flash photography is strictly prohibited. There is no intermission during this show and the runtime is approximately one hour and 15 minutes unless of course the rabbi's sermon runs long. Tonight, the role of Elphaba, typically played by Kristen Chenoweth, will be portrayed by her understudy, Eliana Fischel. For the safety of all patrons, please remain seated except when asked to rise by the clergy or when you just can't contain your excitement and need to get up and dance. Tonight's show is an interactive performance. We invite you to sing along and to make noises when our villain, Haman, <laughs> is mentioned. Welcome to Megillah the Musical. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Hello, my name is Cantor Sue, and I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Hello, my name is Cantor Sue. It's a book about Shushan a long, long time ago. It has so many awesome parts. You simply won't believe how much this book will change your life. Hello, my name is Rabbi Sue, and I would like to share with you this book of Queen Esther. <laughs> Hello, my name's a boy named Sue. Hello! And did you know that <laughs> Esther lived in Shushan for him? You can Read all about it here oh. in this nifty book. It's free. No, you don't have to pay. Hello. Oh. Hello. My name's not Rabbi Sue, and I can leave this book with you for you to just peruse. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it has a lot of information you can really use. recognize everyone up here. We are Cantor Susan Bortnick, Rabbi Aaron Miller, <laughs> Rabbi Eliana Fischel, <laughs> Rabbi Sue Shankman, Rabbi Rachel Schmelkin, and Cantor Suzanne Hamstra. We are so thrilled to be here in our Kaufman Sanctuary with all of you and everyone joining oh, us yeah. on the live stream. And we know that some of you are, uh, some are in costume, some are not. You might not recognize each other at the moment, and you might not have met someone se seated near you. So we're gonna ask you to take a moment and introduce yourself to somebody you don't already know. Please introduce yourself by name and also share with each other your favorite flavor of Hamantaschen. Hello. Hello.
I'm just kidding. <laughs> <All right. laughs> What'd you forget? Got a light. I know you, you're, <laughs> you're shivering. It's nothing, they turned off my heat, and I'm just a little weak on my feet. I hate heels. Would you light my candle? Join us. Will <laughs> you light my candle? Baruch <laughs> light shine into our homes and into our hearts and bless us with happiness, peace, and love as we join together in Lachadodi as we welcome Shabbat. started, you can have a seat. We are going to join together in our Megillah blessings. And right after that, we will have our first set of Megillah readers join us here on the Bima, Simon Warner and Dylan Sugar. So come on over. Where's the handheld? Oh, mm -hmm. right here. All right. So we'll join together in the blessings. And just to further confuse you, it's not just Megillah, but we're going to be flying all the way half a year to the high holidays for the melody of the shofar service for our blessings. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedeshanu B'Mitzvotav V'Sivarav Shushan 
בשנת שלוש למלכו עשה משתה לכל שריו ועבדיו חיל פרס ומדי הפרטמים ושרי המדינות לפניו בהרותו את עושר בכבוד מלכותו ואת יקר התפארת גדולתו ימים רבים שמונים אומת יום A long time ago, King Ahasuerus gave a feast for all the officials in Shushan. <coughs> Plenty of royal wine was served, and everyone was merry. On the seventh day of the feast, when the king was merry with wine, he ordered Queen Vashti to come before him and all his guests to display her beauty to the people, for she was a beautiful woman. But Vashti said, No! The officials said to the king, Your, Your majesty, majesty, Queen Vashti, should be punished. Vashti was punished, and Ahasuerus needed a new queen. The officials suggested, Hold a contest and let the woman who pleases your majesty be queen. Enter Esther. was chosen by the king, and he loved Esther. Please rise.
yeah. join together and be a hapta. Like it's normal. Gila reading with the birthday girl, Allie Hyman. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You say it's your birthday. Yeah. Say it's your birthday. <laughs> What's your chapter in verse? Your chapter two, right? Do you remember where you start? What's your first verse? <coughs> By a meem ha hem, who morda hai, Yoshev Bashar Hamele, Katsav, Viktash ha teresh, Shene sorry say ha mele, Mishom pre ha sahav, Vaivak shu, Lishlo ah yahad, Bamele, Ahashverosh. Vaiva da hadavar le mordahai, Vayaget la ester hamalka, Vahatomer ester la mele, Vashem mordahai. Vaivu kash hadavar, Vaimatse, Vaitalu ashenehem al eight. Vaikatav besefer divrei hayamim lifnei hamele. Nice. Wow. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Happy, Happy birthday. <laughs> Back to our story in Shushan. Well, that was the story in Shushan. That was. Esther did not tell the king that she was a Jew for her cousin or uncle, depending on the translation, Mordechai had told her to keep it a secret. Did that, did that really, really just happen? Have I actually understood this weird quirk I've tried to suppress or hide? Is it a secret that could?
every day. One day when Mordechai was sitting at the palace gate checking in on Esther, two of the king's servants became angry and plotted to kill Ahasuerosh. Mordechai told Queen Esther the plan. Esther told the king for Mordechai. The king learned that Mordechai told the truth. The servants' plot was stopped and the servants dismissed. Soon after, King Ahasuerosh promoted Haman. Do I change the screen? There it is. All bowed low to Haman. But Mordechai would not. Yay! 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 This made Haman. very angry, and he decided to kill all the Jews in the kingdom. You know it. Sing along. You say you won't bow to me, and for that I'm afraid you will pay. You cry but that your God is the only one that you can bow to, but why? Remember the king made an order for all to bow down. Now you're making me mad. Remember the king promoted me as your man. You'll bow down.
Just wait for Mika Mocha. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Take it away, guys. <laughs> you know this. Me, Pamoka, Baeli, Madonna, Mi Pamoka, Mi Pamoka, Nedai, Bai, Fodes, Narai, Tehido, Sebele, Rade, Join together in Bishamru. Bishamru, Bene Yisrael et Hashabad, La Sot et Hashabad, the Dorotan. Stop, don't, no, please, let's not do that to Maria. Okay, okay. All right, how's this? How's this? Try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Ready? Bishamru. Stop, don't, no, please. Can we find something a little <laughs> less schmaltzy? Sure. <laughs> Stop, don't, no, please. I thought you promised me no Andrew Lloyd Webber. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to sneak him in somewhere. Wait a minute. Okay. I think I got it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, let's see. Let's see. Gilla Chanter. Don't worry, the service isn't over. But almost. No, me, Bortnik. Who didn't wear all of her costume that I made. <laughs> it's okay. I spent a week on it. No, I'm just yeah, eight. Oh, no, don't, don't. Don't, don't you right. want to have these mother-daughter okay, okay, moments okay, in front okay, of okay. everyone? Don't feel bad. You look great. You, you look, look fabulous. And you're wearing okay. my favorite color. Do you want to go closer? Um, no. Yeah, but we're getting you're into she's great over tomorrow. here. Should we need to move this yeah, over yeah. for the names? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, Nobody over there. here. Move. Like your skirt. I'm going to move this. Thank you. Oh, my mom made it. <laughs> you made it? <laughs> I did. It's amazing. Thank you. Okay, okay, um, is it, don't you start there with Mordecai? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You got this. Oh, and I don't touch the paper. Right? You want to touch with this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Umurechai yatsa milifne hamelech bilvush machut tehelet vachur the ateret zachav gedola betachrich boots the argaman the hair shushan zahala visamecha la yehudim hata ora visimha visason vikar Uf ho medina, undina, uf ho ir va ir. 
Mekom Asher Debarha Debarha Mele Vedato Magia Simcha Vesasan Laichudi Mishte Veyom Tov Verabi Ame Ha Arts Mitia Hadim Kina Fal Pechad Haichudim Alechem Back to our story in Shushan. Mordechai told Esther to visit the king. You must tell the king to protect our people. said to Mordechai, tell all the Jews who live in Shushan to fast. Then I shall go to the king, though it is dangerous to go when not called. Esther dressed in her finest royal gown and jewels and invited King Ahasuerosh and Haman <laughs> to a feast. At the feast, the king asked Esther, this, this is, is great. great. What, what is, is your wish, wish my love? It, it shall be granted. Queen Esther said, Let, Let me live, live and my people also. Upset the king demanded, Who, Who is, is trying, trying to destroy, destroy you and your people? people? Esther answered, The, the evil hail! The You're wicked hail! was stopped and the people of Shushan cried out in joy and celebration. So when we read about the festival of Purim, we read in the book of Psalms that we are supposed to rejoice with trembling. It's a balance. It is both happiness, we should happy, be happy and rejoice, but also trembling at the same time, recognizing that we always balance that happiness. There's always a balance in our lives. And so this year, as we join in this prayer, al Hanisim, it talks about the miracles. And we talk about the miracles that happened at this time, at this time, long ago to our people. And in this day, and in this moment, we too pray for a miracle as we recite this al Hanisim. Our prayer this year is that the hostages who are marked with the chairs in the back of the sanctuary. Our prayer is that the hostages will be returned. Our prayer is that the people of Israel and Gaza will know peace. And we pray that that will come speedily and soon as we share in these words together. As we've heard throughout the story of Purim, in the days of old at this season, you saved our people by wonders and mighty deeds. We thank and bless you, our great and gracious God, Help us, God, to see your vision and give us the courage to do your will. Fill our hearts with the loyalty of Mordecai and the devotion of Esther. 
Give us patience and strength that we may continue to proclaim your law of love and truth to all people until all have learned that we are one united people. And we always balance both. Uh, that is the tradition. It's al kol ela. We, we hold the, the bitter and the sweet together. And so this evening, as we celebrate Purim, we also celebrate many of you who are here whose birthdays fall in this time of the month of March, or perhaps even today, Ali Hyman. So uh, I know that Ali is not the only person who is celebrating a birthday in one March. One in 12, everybody. Yes. <laughs> so one, two, three. Yeah. No. So we're going to invite Ali and anyone else who has a birthday in March to come join us so we can celebrate Look with a blessing. Costume. Whoa. I love Whoa. it. Awesome. Yes. I love it. Come on forward. Come on up. Come on Woo. up. Awesome. Okay, let's move these back. Look at these guys. Oh, Did when's your birthday? You? Where are when's my fellow March babies? Wow. Come on oh, up. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Terrific. When's your birthday? Sandy, Sandy. When's your birthday? Wow. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Oh, Happy birthday. Are you going to be 100? <laughs> Here, turn around. So as everybody comes up here. Come together, come together. Come doing it, you're doing it. Come, 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 in, come into the middle. Come into the middle. Come back a little. Do you have a toto? Is that your dog toto? I'm doing I don't go up there. Go for it. Wow. No, no. Come on in. Come on in. Look at you. Ageless and timeless. So what? Oh, my goodness. Come on. So I know that, yes, I know that I and all the other clergy would like to share with each one of you a blessing and a prayer and a personal prayer, each person on this BIMA right now, and some of you who might be joining us on the live stream, who is celebrating her birthday in this month, brings so much blessing to our community. Anybody who, uh, I mean, I think any of us recognize the miracle of life. And when we, we just recited that al Hanisim prayer, thanking God for the miracles of our lives, you up here right now, we, the miraculous moment in which you came into this world continues because of your presence in the world every day. We are so grateful for all that each one of you brings, not just tonight when you're dressed up in costume, some of you, bright colors and the mm -hmm. smile on your faces, but the joy that you bring to those in your family, those you love, those who love you, but also the joy you bring to us each and every day. We are so grateful and so we all join together in a prayer of thanksgiving for the fact that you exist in this world, for the fact that you continue to exist and you are here tonight so that we can celebrate together, and the fact that we pray for many, many more years of blessing that we can share moments of celebration. We know there will be moments of challenge and we as a community will continue to stand and celebrate life together. And so we say together, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu V'Kirmanu V'Hidiyanu Vazman Hazeh Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, for giving us life, these incredible lives in front of us, for sustaining us. And we know that sometimes that sustenance the fact that we're here again and again is a miracle too, and for allowing and enabling each of us to join and share in this moment together, for which we all say together, Amen. 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you all. Happy birthday. birthday. May 1st. March 1st. Happy birthday. March 1st. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. And we also know. Yep, yep, yep. We also know that in our community there are those who are in need of healing. Those moments of healing allow us to continue to be here together each and every day. And so as we, we take a moment to think of those who are in need, need of healing, whether sitting in our sanctuary this evening, joining us on live stream, or those in our lives who are in our hearts. So we call those names to mind of our loved ones, and I'm going to invite you, if you would like to share a name aloud, as, I, as I, my hand goes around the congregation, I invite you to share a name aloud. Um, if you know of someone who's in need of healing and who could use some support from our community, we also invite you to make sure to let one of the clergy know, because sometimes it's hard to hear all the names, especially the farther away you might be si sitting or names get uttered at the same time. We want to be able to support all those in our community 
who need that little bit of extra support, which we pray for now. With all these names in our hearts, we ask God to watch over them and to bring them speedily and soon to a full healing, a refuah tanefesh, a refuah tagufa, healing of the body and of the spirit. And we say, Baruch ata Adonai, Rofeha Cholim. We praise you, O God, healer of the sick. Purim is probably the most challenging moment for us to ask for a moment of silent prayer. We know there are things people have in hand that noises that we make in order to fully celebrate the holiday. But even at this raucous moment, it's not raucous right now, of course, because I said that it's very quiet. We're, we know that it's important to take a moment out of the busyness of the world, out of the busyness of our lives to pause. Shabbat is that pause for us. We have that opportunity in that moment we can take every day to express gratitude for the blessings in our lives, to reflect on the blessings of the past week, to think of what we might do and how we might uh, reach out to others in the week ahead, and to just take a moment to find a sense of wholeness. And so let's all take a deep breath right now. And even in the quiet, as we are completely separated in this, what will be in a moment when I stop talking, a moment of silence, we, at no other time, for me, do I feel a greater sense of community than that one moment of silence. Because we're taught that if we only pray according to the precise text of the prayers and we don't add something from our own hearts, our communal prayers are not complete. Our communal prayers depend on every single individual adding something from their heart. And sometimes we know the words, and sometimes the words are a little bit harder to find. And so at such times, we pause for silence, allowing each person to find the prayers in their hearts. And even when we can't find the words, we know that God can find the words that are in our hearts as we pray silently. Come out of silent prayer. Um, I want to share a bit of wisdom from one of my rabbis, Rabbi Rachel Schmelkin, that she shared with me this week. She taught that um, we are in the springtime, that we are in the season of redemption, that we think about those moments that our people were lost and desperate and in search of hope, and we look ahead to Passover, where God brought the plagues, and we look ahead at Passover, where God split the sea, and we look ahead at Passover, where God carried us as on eagle's wings into freedom. But as Rabbi Schmelkin taught me a few days ago, um, Purim comes first. Purim always comes before Passover. And Purim also takes place at a time when our people are desperate, when our people are, are, are without hope. But instead of God rescuing us on eagle's wings, instead of God bringing the plagues, instead of God splitting the sea, it's Esther. It's Esther who acts first. And as we move into this season of redemption, remember that Purim always comes before Passover, that the redemption that we bring always comes before whatever God might bring God's self.
That throughout most of the year, we think, how can I follow God's lead? Throughout most of the year, we think, how can I follow God's lead? But in the season of Purim, we ask the other question. How can God, as God brings about redemption, follow my lead? And so in this season, we are taught to embrace the courage of Esther, of Mordechai, of all of God's children who see what the world could be and act first. And if we do our job right in this Purim season, God just might follow our lead. And so we're going to rise for our prayer of redemption, for our prayer of hope, for redemption that will come as we join together in Aleinu. Please rise. Shalom, <laughs> Vanachnu korim, umishtachabim umodim, lipne melech, vache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. We'll figure this out. <laughs> well, maybe we should just both do it. Should we just both do it? I guess so. All right, fine. All right, let's start over. Here we go. Can we you can feel the top. Bit? Sing along as well. All right. I've been waiting all year for this. What? What? Never happened, happened to my, my heart. heart. It, was it was exciting, exciting at the start. But now, now we're finished. finished. With, with the, the book, book. And, and no one, one seems to care. I got the hook. I got the script for far too long. It's since last year I had a song. This is one unhappy diva. The author has deceived her. There is nothing I can sing from my 
Purim is one of so much joy and celebration and ridiculousness. Uh, and we also know that it is um, a story of pain, too, uh, and of violence and of death. Um, and so, and it is quite Jewish that even in our happiest moments, even in our biggest joy, we take a moment to remember those who we have lost, um, those who brought so much joy to us, those who maybe were a little ridiculous and allowed for our lives to be turned upside down with their presence, um, those who made an impact on our lives. And so today, Washington Hebrew remembers Burl M. Aben, Harry L. Alexander, Ann G. Ahrens, Edgar Askin, Meyer M. Bayless, Barbara Barrick, Selma Blaine, Harold Blaine, Irving C. Bland, Marcel Burlass, Elizabeth S. Burke, Martin Codell, J. B. Cutler, Randy Cutler, Shirley G. Daneman, Ray Siegel Dodd, Lucille Greenbaum Doppelt, Charles Cohen, Reed Barther, Corinne Gutman, Anarella, Sydney Curtis Dworkin, Marvin Walter Ehrlich, Gus Eichberg, Sarah Eichberg, Roy Farley, Mitchell Scott Fink, Lester Fisher, Joseph L. Freeman, Sophie G. Friedman, Gary Fromm, Josie Gassenheimer, Gloria Gelfond, Jesse Gellert, Gary Michael Gertler, Lucille Goldberg, Charles Green, Michael J. Green, Samuel Greenblatt, Arthur Herbert Hahn, Solomon Hirsch, Milton Hoffenmeyer, Rose Cantor, Ann Kershaw, Ruth I. Koslow, Irma J. Krizak, Leonard Letvin, Lillian S. Levy, Selma Lynn, Edna S. Meltzer, Ruth Merber, Benjamin Miller, Milton Morton Mullitz, Ricardo M. Olivas, Abraham Perez, Jonathan Paul Perry, Harry Press, Murray Mulliken, Michael Sandler, Harry Pressheisen, Miriam Rifkin, Louis Ring Ringel, Milton Rosenthal, Arthur Rosenthal, Sarah Frank Shorts, Bernard Sagerman, Clara Berenter Sennett, Miriam V. Siegel, Jacob Nini Silverman, Robert Sinker, Milton Smirnoff, Charles Stein, Jack Stein, Lisa Vise, Ellen Weissman, Wolf B. Wender, Sylvan Joseph Wurzberger, Morris Yurowski, Janet Lazarus Zielinski, and those recently laid to rest, Stephen Cohen, Donald Green, Shirley Gaffin Gaber, Grace Rabinowitz Doty, Tootsie Wertheimer, David Trachtenberg, Doris Subin Pape, Victor Tannenholtz, Stephen B. Friedman. If I inadvertently mispronounce the name of your loved one or if you have another name to add to our memorial this evening, I'll ask that you share your, that name out loud with our community when my eyes meet yours or your area. Raphael ben Ephraim Vipinina. We rise as we recite the words of Mourner's Kaddish together. Yitgadal mitkadash shimei raba, ve'alma divra hirute v'yam lich malchute, v'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala v'izman kariv v'imru, amen. Yehe shimei raba mirach le'olam u'lomei amaya, Yibarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitzale v'yitalal shimei d'kudusha v'rehu l'eila min kol birchata v'shirata tushbechata v'nechamata ta'amiran v'alma v'imru amen Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya v'chaim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen O se shalom v'imromav who ya say shalom, Aleinu veil kol Yisrael, the Imru. Amen. Zikron and Livracha, may their memories be for a blessing, and we say together, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. It is my pleasure to call up Dan Kaplan, one of our board of directors, to share some announcements.
You guys are a tough act to follow. <laughs> Good evening and Shabbat Shalom. There are so many wonderful events to engage in together in the next few weeks, and these include Mitzvah Day 2024 is April 7th here at Temple, the Bindemann Center, and throughout the whole community. There are projects available for people of all ages. The Freedom Seder is Wednesday, April 10th from 6 to 9 p.m. here at Temple. WHC members, their families, friends, and many interfaith neighbors will join for an evening of real community. The Women's Seder, co-sponsored by Washington Hebrew and Temple Beth Ami, is Sunday, April 14th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Binneman Center. And the Let My People Go, WHC's community in 2239 Passover Seder, is Monday night, April 22nd, here at Temple from 6 to 8.30 p.m. And finally, our sustaining members event and the sustaining members annual meeting will be held on May 2nd at the home of Mark and Nancy Duber from 6 to 6.30ish and going until about 8 p.m. Please keep a copy of your playbill and use the QR code on the back for more information or visit the website at whctemple.org. Each Shabbat, we increase our joy by reciting Kiddush. This is a moment when we remember the miracle of creation and the exodus from Egypt and celebrating our freedom. Washington Hebrew Congregation uses this moment to also remember Cami Lauren Nathanson and the power each person has to make an impact on the community. It's okay, just keep going. Sorry. Um, and to change the world for the better. So I'll now give the mic back to our cantors. You want them, not me, to lead Kish. And we'd like to invite all of the students up, the kids up who are below 13, to join us. Any students who have not yet. And we're going to just stay down here on the ground. Grape juice for everybody. There is plenty at our Oneg. At the Oneg afterwards, yes. And. Here you go. There probably won't be we're enough, but that's okay. We're going to stay down on the floor because there are so many of us. We're not going to sit on the beam of the night, which is the best problem ever. We're going to stay down. Not yet. There we go. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're going to stay down here. Yeah, we don't drink it yet. You're so right. All right. If you have not gotten one, you're not going to get It's okay. It's okay. There'll be more at the Onyx, so it's okay. Are we ready for the blessing over the home? Hello. Hello. You can all go ahead and drink that. Yeah, you drink can all drink I know, your juice. I know. I'm sorry. We didn't have out enough. You might not I'm have sorry. gotten one, but you, will you help take the cover yes. off the challah for me? Exactly. Those who and you can get some juice at the Onex. And we join together. Go ahead. There you go. Mr. Kaplan's going to take that hall and get it all ready for everybody on our way out. But we have one more song. We have five we have more some, minutes. We do, but we have some announcements first, yes, Rabbi. Yes, we do. That's here. right. I'll take it. Oh, thank you. Thanks. We need everybody to stay here. Actually, okay, we, we also need to bless you all. We need our yes, guests so we're gonna to stay up, up here. here. Oh, we're going to do that all right. first. You want Let's to bless, bless everyone. So everybody come down onto the ground. Because Let's, if you're yeah. up on the bima, we won't be able to see the Rabbi's choreography, which is devastating. We worked really hard on it. really good. All right. So, We've got to right. contribute something. So we're going to stay down here, hey, but we're going to bless you. Because our cantors are amazing. <laughs> but we want to make sure that everybody gets a blessing. So all of our friends, can if you can you? touch elbows to somebody seated near you. Or standing. He would let yep. you touch, 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 touch. <laughs> As we ask God's blessing upon you. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmerecha. May God bless you and watch over you. May God show God's face to you and be gracious unto you. You saw it, and I put on the this and the shalom. May God turn towards you and grant you peace. Amen. 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 So stay up here because we want to have some announcements the final song. first. But first, we have some announcements. All right. Before we leave, a few quick reminders. When you leave the Kaufman Theater, aka the Kaufman Sanctuary tonight, you are going to be in the heart of Times Square. So be careful. Watch the traffic lights. There are photo ops that can be taken in Times Square thanks to epic events. 
Get all of your WHC gifts and souvenirs at the pop-up shop by our fabulous Women of Washington Hebrew Congregation. Accompany your mustard to your heart's content, unless you're part of my family who are allergic to mustard, with either pretzels or hot dogs. The hot dog truck will be outside the Times Square front doors on 42nd Street, otherwise known as Macomb Street. Don't miss the karaoke fun with tonight's incredible band, Sean Mahan, Matvey Sigalov, Steve Arnold, and Joey Antico. They're incredible, as always. And don't forget to thank them for making tonight so fabulous. Thank you to our Megillah the Musical team. Many of them are wearing their Megillah the Musical shirts. Our producer, Ira Miller. Ira, where are you? He's, he's probably outside probably getting outside, things getting ready. ready. Uh, Megillah the Musical playwrights, Kendra Susan Bortnick and Suzanne Hamstra, along with Rick Wohler. <laughs> Megillah vocalizers, Simon Warner, Dylan Sugar, birthday girl, Allie Hyman, and Nomi Bortnick. Woo! Kaufman Theater Marquee creator, not only does she chant Megillah, but she also paints Nomi Bortnick. Stage crew manager Mohan Ma Mystery, is Mohan still in here? Publicist so. and designer Ori Hoffer, cartoon coordinator Sam Loss up in the balcony, Woo! house manager Rich Gordon, animal wrangler Stephanie Tankel, of course. Choreographer Rabbi Eliana Fischel, sorry. Singing coach Rabbi Rachel Schmelkin. Token male Rabbi Aaron Miller. A <laughs> boy named Sue. Yes. Costume coordinator Rabbi Sue Shankman. Consultant Jen Millstone. Ensemble Lila Gordon and Talia Raziel, where they, they were right up here in front before. I can't see them. Woo. Sound and video crew Kara Flaherty and Mike Brockaway. And finally, a very, very, very special thank you to our donors, Emily and Mark Gerson, through the Susan and Stephen Porter Memorial Fund, who have helped to enhance our festivals, particularly Amen. Purim and Hanukkah, and have uh, allowed all of us this amazing, amazing celebration. We are so, so grateful. And we know that we'll all join together, not only in thanking them, but in enjoying the sense of community that uh, inspired them to make sure that we could do this all together. And so, with that, we that. have five more minutes, maybe a little less. Or a little more. I, I think the, But that was the cue, five more, right? It looks uh -huh. like we lost the screen, so you'll just have to watch us. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think of that? Uh -oh. Should I keep it? Uh, all right, yeah, guys, it's okay. take it away. It'll be fine, you know most of the lyrics. Oh, it's gone.
up the flow and we change the lyrics. Everybody goes down the party through. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Make your way out to Times Square.